All right, so now I'm here. And in today's video, we are going to create, we are going to build something really um, a bit more fancy. We are going to try and do whatever that is over here. Um, excluding these things down below, but I found this design on Dribble, and I do think it's something that looks a bit more fun. So probably let's create something like that in breakdance. So that is what we are going to try and do. All right. So that being said, let's get into um, breakdance. All right. So I do have an empty canvas over here, and first and first, we are going to create or we're going to add a section right let's add a section and within that section um our our size for the width is going to be the contained one so we do have a 14 by 40 for um our contained size all right um that is done what i'm going to do is probably give it like a background color so let's go into background color background color should be that and then one two three four five six so that should be the background color um, the next thing that we want to do is to have these circles that are done. Um, I'm going to move to the left hand side. So I've created these circles here that I'm going to use as the background color. Um, I didn't want to use um, an SVG. I didn't want to draw an SVG or also want to use a div because you can also use a div to create the circles, but I'm not going to do that. I think making it this way is much more simpler especially when it comes to you making it responsive. So that is one thing that um, I have done. So I've exported this already. It's already on uh, in the media library. I'm going to pick it up. So over here, so background color is done. What I'm going to do is go into overlay and then click on this and then choose image. So I'm going to select the image that I will do one, which is this, and then I'm going to add it. All right, so you do see that we do have that image over there. Um, that being done, let me go into image settings and then for repeat i'm going to say um no repeat and for position i'm just going to do center center like that that is fine let's save that um we'll come back to this and then just resize it um appropriately when we are ready so background and background image is done the next thing i am going to do is to start adding some of my content and i am going to when i go back into figma you can see that um it does have it looks like there's a grid over here. So I'm going to use a grid to build out what we do see over here. So let's go back. So grid, um, add a grid in here and I'm going to, as always, remove everything and then I'm going to add five. So the five grid that we are going to use because the middle, um, the middle column, right? Yeah, the middle column is a bit wider than and the last two. That is why I'm using five and then I am going to give the first one um it's just going to span one on um, one row and then the last one is also going to span one row and the middle one is going to span um three rows so this is the grid what i'm going to do is pop in a dev so dev number one and then let me duplicate that for dev number two and then this one is going to be dev number three we only need three and then in the middle one just click on the middle one and then i'm going to go into advanced open the advanced um, module and just click in here. Over here, I am going to type in this code grid dash column. And then co and the column sign, the column sign, is it column? Yeah, is it column sign, right? And I'm going to do span three. All right, so that is good. And then let's just add that. All right, so we are done with um, how to lay out the grid. And in here, we are going to first add in an icon. So icon. And then after that, we are going to add in another dev, right? And then <clears throat> after this, we can, there are a few ways of achieving this. We can use the, the double header. I think there's a double header, right? Animated header. Animated. Yeah, I think the animated header has to, that's like um, a way of you and then like two texts. So over here we can do like 93. So you can see that this text over here, 93 M plus and then this. So we're going to do that. So add 93 M plus M plus. And then down here we are going to add total locked. So total locked. All right. So that is um, that is done probably is this going to give us problem 
um probably is going to give us problems let me just use a dev to create that because i really do not want to go through um trying to figure out how to like so 93 m and then plus and then let me just go in and copy this so copy that remove that and then i'm just going to duplicate duplicate that text and then add this over here all right so that is the first one um let's hold this and then go into typography i want to give this one 1.2 rems and then for the total i'm just going to go in here to typography we can give it 0 0.8 rem and that is fine and for the color we can leave this as the color that it is but for this one we are going to make the color a bit white which is that all right um let's go back and see we are on the right track so selecting the dev that holds the two I'm going to layout and give this one a five and i'm going to duplicate that div and you can see that this one is 3.2 b market size all right so over here selecting this 3.2 b and then down below say market size all right so we are almost done with that so that let's open a structure panel right so structure panel all right, open this, and then in here we can see the, those two devs. What we do need next is a divider. So I'm gonna add divider, and then for the divider, I want to go into the divider um, settings, and then for style, I need a solid. For pattern, I need this one to be a one. And then for the width, I just want probably like 60 pixels of that. And that is fine. All right, um, we want this to be in the middle of that. So that is good. And I'm going to click on this dev that holds everything. This one, two, three items, right? And then I'm going to go into layout and then give the gap 30 pixels. All right. So the next thing is to. So this um, fast dev in the grid, clicking on that, go into layout and then the horizontal. I'm going to make sure that this is um, aligned to the left. And then we can also center it like that. And that is fine. And let's give it a, a, probably a gap of 30 pixels. That is good. Clicking on this icon then, going to choose and we need an arrow. So I'm just going to type in arrow. Arrow that points to a left. So we need a left pointing arrow. So this is good. So let's click on this. Going to styling. And then for size, let's do 16. And let's do outline. And for outline, we want to make sure that our background color it's none and then for the border i want to make sure that the border we can leave the maybe we can I'll, I'll deal with that so for this one the outline i want to make sure that the width is also one and we want our outline to be circle or round like that and yeah we can leave the border probably to this color and then let me just save this color and give a fancy gray right I think fancy gray is good. All right, so that I can use it um, when I do need it. All right, so this is um, this is all good. And without, so that's the first part. I am just going to duplicate this, um, remove the last one, and then take this and then bring it over, over here. All right, um, take this and put it to the right. And then I'm going to go into the icon and then just type in right. And I'm going to choose that. All right. Um, click on the dev and let's go in here. I want to make sure that this is to the right or we can make a center. Sorry, a center like that. And also click on this and instead of making it uh, left, let's make a center. I think that is good. Okay. So we are almost done with the first part. We can just change the text over here to one K. So one, K and then there's a plus, right? 1K plus awards. So let's say awards. And then the next one is two to one K trans transactions. So two to one K and then transactions. All right, so that is um, that is pretty good. Um, the next thing that we are going to do is just try and then make this over here. So inside this, I'm gonna go into add and then let's add a normal text. Sorry, let me delete it from here. 
this we need to select it go in here just add normal text and then after that let's add a heading text and then i'm just going to go into this icon duplicate it bring it down over here all right so i'm going to go in i'm going to go in here and go into uh let's say arrow right now i just need the arrow that is pointing um up like that and that is fine okay clicking on that div i'm going to go in here to layout i'm going to give it a gap of 30 pixels that is fine and also make sure that this is centered like that which is good the next thing i'm going to do is just go and copy um some text all right so next level of crypto and fintech product so let's try and type that out so next level of crypto and fintech product all right now we just need these um these symbols so for we to get the symbols we can just go into google and just type in the um, typography symbols um hopefully we can find okay so we need a thunder typography symbol then we can find one here um where can we copy it at all right so we need this so i just copy that uh, I'm going to come into over here. I want to put it over here. So let's put it into this crypto sign. All right. So we do have. And then the next thing is. Um, is there a way to search in this place? Probably not. So I need now a hash. Okay. Copy that. And go in here. And when we go into FinTech. We also going to put this over there. And that is fine. All right. So the next thing that probably we want to do is when you go back, consider we do have like some color change over here that we are going to try and do. We are going to use um, span to wrap this. So let's say open, put a span over there, add a class, and then equal sign. And let's add it and just give it TX, um, TXT, D, and that. And then see that it wraps around that come over here and then we can just close that span um close this one and then come back over here and then add a span over there and that is good all right so the next i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this because i am lazy um come select put it over here right and then i'm just going to grab the fintech um All right, so that is good. Um, we have other that. I'm just going to go into the advanced section, do this, and then I'm going to put in that and txt d, and then over here I'm going to say color, and I just want the color for that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to sample that color. Let's say I'm going to put this over here, and then go into fill, take this, and I'm going to sample this, and that is a color that I want. So I'm just going to put this and then that and then just close it and that should be fine all right so selecting back um, the heading text go into typography right and i'm going to give this one a color of white and that should be working over here at the top i don't really think i want to go and copy all of that so i'm just going to copy something i do have already some um random text um put uh put a full stop over here a period sign and in this i'm just going to give it 350 and that should be good and when i go back into figma so this probably looks like uh the typography might be um, 0 0.9 rem and that should be good all right so we are almost there and the next thing i'm going to do is probably like give it um a height we can give it a height probably of um, let's say viewport height i'm just going to go into layout bring this there and then bring this there and then we can save it next then uh next and the last thing that probably i want to do is when selecting the section i want to go back into background going to um, overlay and then with this i want to go into image and then for size i'm going to do custom and then probably let's do for width let's do like um 1200 
all right 1200 we might just want to raise it a bit more to be get to a point that we do like probably over here all right so it looks like we are almost there i'm going to go back in here and go into color make it a white like that and that is good we can save it so we are done with the desktop on version as you can see it looks very um very from um similar to what they do have in here so what i'm going to do is try and make this also responsive as possible so i'm going to go into my this my desktop i'm going to go into tablet and then you can see that this is um overflowing which is normal so we can try and fix that by going to the image clicking on the overlay going to the image section and then when we go into size we can say um contain so that we can always see it and that should be good for most uh, most of it so background is almost finished the next thing that we want to fix is probably the grid all right so over here we can leave this this way if we do want um, we can also try and also fix it so probably let's make this into like one um one row each so we can have something like this but you can see that this one doesn't cover the whole thing so i'm going to select the grid again and then the space in between i'm going to give it a zero because it probably always causes a problem i don't know why so for this um second second dev i'm going to go into spacing top 30 pixels bottom 30 pixels that is fine and when i go into my alignment i'm going to put it to the left hand side nice like that and i'm going to click on this one too and also i'm going to go into horizontal and then i'm going to say that i want to align this to the left and that is good and i am going to select this very div and then in here i'm going to say i want it to be spaced um to the left too and that is good and we can put it in the middle and we do have that and the next thing that i want to also do is try and fix this by clicking on this div making sure that we align this also to the left clicking on this div also going to layout in the horizontal we click on that also align it to the left and vertically we want it to align to the middle and we do have something like this and when we go into um landscape uh mobile and then mobile so we do have something that is pretty neat like that all right so if you are looking for something that is funky and fancy and all of those stuff you want to build something that is really nice this is one way and this is how you can also create something like that from dribble and let's try and preview this in the front end right because that is what we do want to see all right so this is how it is in the front end what i'm going to do is try and check the responsiveness all right so i think it's good i think it's perfectly fine all right my name is Nyakon. thank you for watching i'm gonna catch you on the next one